Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemming Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to create a real-time clock using the NS Date formatter. Now in the simulator I have an example of what we'll be creating today. It's a simple label displaying the actual current time. So if we drag it over here, we have my actual time up here. You notice that it is running in sync with the current time. So we're going to be creating that today. So already have my project set up. It's a simple view based application for the iPhone and I've named it real time clock for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we need to do is add a IB outlet for our label and a NS timer for the timer and a void statement for our timer. So to do that, we go to our view controller .h, and just after the UI view controller, do a curly bracket and press enter. And I'll zoom in for you now. And the, so we start by doing our outlet. So we do IB outlet, UI label, space asterisk. And to keep it simple, we'll name the label simply label, and that will be a semicolon. Now press enter, now we do the NS timer, and we'll simply name the timer again. Keep it simple, name it timer, so it's easy to understand for you guys when it comes to the coding. And then just after the last curly bracket there, we'll now do a void statement, so to update the timer, so we do dash bracket void bracket, and I'll name it again, update timer, and that will be a semicolon. Just keep it all simple and really easy to understand. So we can save that and then zoom out. Now we go to our view controller.m and just after the implementation, I'm going to hit enter a few times so we've got a fair bit of room so you can see the coding when I type it out. So then we'll start with our void statement, so dash bracket void. And I named it update timer, so we do space bracket and press enter. And then we start with the coding by doing capital NS date formatter space asterisk and then I'll name it formatter space equals space. Now we need to do two brackets. Then inside this we need to do NS date formatter again and then alloc. And that very bracket, then space, then init, and close it up with the another bracket, and then semicolon. That's that for that line. And the next line we do bracket formatter space. Now we need to set the date, so we do set date format. And then here is how we will display it. So we do hour hour colon minute minute. Colon, as there will be two digits for each one, and then second, second, and then once you've done that, after the last quotation mark, we do bracket, semicolon, and then we hit enter. Now we need it to display in our label, so we named our label simply label, so we do label dot text as it's going to be displaying text, space equals space bracket. Now again, formatter, and then string from date. In the highlighter section, we do bracket and then ns date, which is just there, space date, and then close up all that code now with the two brackets and a semicolon. And then we can save that. If you want to pause the video here and catch up on that little void statement there, as now we'll be going down to our view did load statement here. I'll just get rid of this comment here. And just after the super view did load, I'll enter twice just so it's got a little bit of room. And then here we do timer space equals space bracket ns timer space schedule timer with interval. You need the one that's got the target, select that, use the info and repeat. So we just enter there. And in the scheduled timer with time interval in the highlighted section there, 
we need to do the time at which it will update. So if we do 0 0.5, which is updating every half a second, so it gives it enough time for when it updates to add in that extra second. As when you're doing a second, it, it kind of messes up a bit and doesn't really update frequently as you would like it. So it's just about half a second, so we at least know it's going to update at the pace we want it to. So in the target, we do self. In the selector, we do at. Selector and in the highlighted section of selector we need to do update timer. Then in the user info we do nil as you need no user info and repeat. We need to set that to yes. Obviously, as we want it to repeat updating and updating as the time goes on. So at the end of that we do bracket and a semicolon. I'll zoom out slightly so we have the full code in the view. So you can pause that if you want to catch up on that bit there. But that's all the coding that is needed throughout this tutorial. So all we need to do now is add our label and link up the connection and build and run in the simulator. So we can save that and I'll zoom out. Now we need to go to our viewcontroller.xib. Okay, so once the XYB is loaded, we can simply drag in our label. Go to options, I'll make the label text slightly big. So I'll give it a good enough size, let's say 40 for instance. And I make it large enough so it's displayed in the full width of our label. Now I centre it so it's nice, so it looks a lot better. And then we go to our files owner, our connections, and just drag our connection to link up our label to our label. And we can save that. Now if we go to build and run, there will be no errors as the code is perfect. So there we have it. That's simply how you create a real time clock with our label simply updating every half a second to show the current time. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And as always, make sure you thumbs up the video and leave me a good comment. And if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself, you can simply message me on YouTube or head over to our website at geekylimit.com where you can fill out the contact us form and suggest your own tutorial there. So again, I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Make sure you favourite and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback. And follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out. And most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe.